Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and I'm so thankful to be back in Iwakuni. I've been spending some good quality time with the family, and I've been playing a couple of games with the friends over in Apex. Uh, but really, I haven't done any building, I haven't done any filming. This is the first time being behind the camera uh, since coming back. And although I would have much rather this be a review, I'm kind of on a time constraint right now, and I'll explain a little bit later come next week. Uh, but regardless, I am going to build this kit. So I want to do an unboxing. Um, don't, don't you worry, there's going to be a lot of reviews coming up. Uh, more than likely next weekend, roughly around Friday or Saturday, I'll probably go ahead and have a, a review up there for you guys. Uh, but I do want to build the Bullet Knights launcher. Now, I know this came like with a, not came with, but there is a pair. There is the one that is a lance, and then there's the launcher. Uh, so I think the lance is coming out next month over in July. If not, it's coming out in June, but I do think it's coming out in July. This one came out in May, and I did pick it up. I never got around to building it. But I am wanting to build this more than any other kit right now. I did not get the High Grade Destiny. There's a lot of other kits I did not pick up that are new, newly released. And that's just because I want to get to the backlog a little bit. So this may defy what I just said, because uh, this, this did just recently come out. But uh, I'm probably not going to be buying any new kits for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, mainly until... What's the next kit? The next kit should be the Master Grade. Alex 2.0, so um, I'll be building that one pretty soon. But regardless, this kit is looking pretty good, so let's take a look and actually see what's inside the box. And don't forget, you can pick up this kit and many more over at NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code Krosama for 10% off. So, on to the unboxing. So for the cover art, it is looking really good. I'm loving the choice of colors with the kit, with the black, the white, and the gold accents. Uh, overall, it's looking super solid just in the illustration alone. And it says number 10 in the Megami device line. And if you want to read her description, it's right here for you. And this kit is retailing for 6400 yen, and NewTypeHQ.com is actually selling it for $65. So it's actually a pretty damn good price. And taking a look at the side of the box, you're going to see a rear and front shot of the kit. Now this is fully painted and detailed, so obviously you're not going to be seeing a lot of those uh, accents in there. A lot of the colors is just going to be absent. So you're going to have to bust out them paints and go ahead and get to detailing. And on this side, you're going to see her with the launcher just kind of launching an attack. And then she's going to have somewhat of like a wave rider mode uh, where she basically turns the launcher into kind of like a little uh, hover cycle, which is pretty damn cool. And then right there on the corner is going to be her pretty much stripped of all of her armor and just wearing the bare minimum. And you're going to see an unpainted kit. So you can see a lot of details are going to be missing. Uh, it's mainly going to be on the launcher. I'm seeing a lot of uh, kind of more gray parts that are just absent, especially a lot of gold. So not really horrible, but yeah, you're definitely going to have to you know do some painting. And on this side of the box, you are going to see different facial features. Uh, looks pretty damn cool. They, they have a wide range of emotions. So the one on the far left side is kind of more determined, the very angry look. Uh, the one in the middle is kind of more of like, you know, maybe sad or it's probably just like, you know, shy or something along those lines. And then the one on the far right is kind of more surprised and blushing. So really not, I just, I love the facial features and I love the hairstyle with, you know, a part of the hair actually covering uh, one of the eyes. So really damn cool. And here's going to be your decal sheet. So lots of water slides, which I'm all about. So cannot wait to go ahead and decal her up. So when taking a look at these runners, we're going to look at them per their color group. So all these like kind of like dark navy are all going to be together and they're not going to be numerical or uh, alphabetical. They're just going to go in uh, any kind of order. So we're taking a look at the navy blue stuff first. Uh, this is going to be runner Q and it's basically just going to make up a lot of the uh, like leg armor right down here. And runner J is just going to be more leg parts. Next we have is runner B, which is looking like some of the back uh, perhaps, or maybe some of the waist. Looks like might be more waist oriented, but yeah, just more uh, navy blue. And runner C is just going to be some uh, more navy blue parts. Uh, looks like there's gonna be parts for the hip right here. Not really too sure about everything else. Looks like it might be just more uh, joint oriented. And runner V uh, looks like it might be parts for maybe the shield or it might be for the actual launcher and then you're just gonna have some uh some little polycap kind of points right here but yeah that's pretty much it 
And next is going to be Runner K. Looks like you're going to have the big old shield right there looking pretty nice. And then you're going to have some other little armor parts that are going to be like maybe for the bottom right down there. And you're just going to have some other little parts uh, kind of spread. We've got parts for the waist. This might be, I'm not too sure what that is to be honest. I think it might be for out of the shoulders or for something else. I have to take a look. But yeah, looking pretty good overall. Still the same old uh, navy blue. And actually going to have his runner L1, so just more navy blue parts, a lot of armor. Uh, this is going to be parts for the bust, and uh, looks like just more parts for the launcher actually. And the last dark navy blue is going to be runner P, so this is looking more for the uh, the little side skirts, or yeah, like the little parts for the uh, the floating bits. Now on to this more purple looking color. Uh, this is going to be a lot of joint parts and just, you know, regular uh, kind of connecting points that it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't really care for this tone. I don't know, maybe it feels a little bit more bright. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's just a, a basic runner full of parts that are like little joints and all that. And the last purple runner is going to be runner S. Uh, this might be parts for the shield. And this is looking just like a lot of connection points to be honest. You got a little handles right there. Uh, but nothing really too unique or spectacular. And the only yellow runner, uh, it's a little bit more vibrant in person than what is coming up on the uh, camera. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be runner H1 and it's going to be all for the hair. And next is going to be this pink runner, which is going to be runner U, and it's just going to be more little accents across the uh, the kit itself. And the last pink runner is going to be runner T. Uh, this just goes on the side of the head, which is kind of like little accessories. Moving on to the flesh tone colors, you're going to have runner A. Uh, this is looking more like the waist part, and then you're going to have parts for the actual head. And then the, uh, the I think this is out of the body or the head right there. And next you're going to have is Runner D, which is another flesh tone color. Uh, overall, it looks pretty good. She's going to be parts for like the legs. You got a lot of the uh, the arms and connection points, uh, but nothing too different than what you've already seen with Megami devices. And of course, this kit would not be complete without a nice, beautiful bust. And for Runner H, which is all gold, uh, looks really good. This is basically a lot of separation parts between like the, the, the upper bicep and the thigh. This uh, is also going to allow you to hard connect a lot of different points into the kit, so to add different accessories to it. And for Runner O, this is going to be another gold runner. Uh, looks like parts is just going to be for like the launcher. Uh, this might be for the launcher as well. I um, think this is for the, uh, the collar. But yeah, uh, just a little more gold for the kit. And looking at the white runner, this is going to be runner M. Uh, parts for the launcher can be identified right here. You're going to have parts for the arm and looks like parts for the waist right there as well. Uh, this should be handles. It's going to be for the launcher. Uh, more handles all along here as well. Next is going to be runner N1. This is all launcher stuff right here. And looks like, uh, I don't know if these are knives or what. Like, I don't, it looks like it's just knives. Kind of weird, um, but yeah, you get some <laughs> knives with the kit, uh, which is uh, pretty cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you got launchers right there, and this looks like it's uh, maybe for the bust, if I'm not mistaken. And runner I is going to be another white runner. Uh, just going to be more parts for the uh, the entire kit. Looks like it's more stuff for the arms, uh, stuff for the legs, feet. Yeah, feet. That's pretty much about it. Um, I'm guessing this is for the legs as well. I'm not really too, too sure. But yeah, regardless, looks pretty good. And you also get two runner E's, and that's gonna be the last of the white runners. Uh, these are just gonna be more kind of like joints and everything for like the legs as well as the arm. And for runner Z, this is going to be a lot of polycap kind of joints. Um, just looks like it's gonna be a lot of hard points to connect maybe like the hands. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be the waist and just other little parts uh, throughout the kit. I I'm guessing maybe for the accessories, but we'll definitely see. And two runner S, which is going to be two stands. So I'm pretty sure one is going to be, you know, for holding the actual launcher. One is going to be to hold the Megami device uh, female. But that's all I can really think of. And that's probably when I have to use if I'm going to do any kind of dynamic poses uh, with the launcher in hand. And you also get this particular stand as well. Uh, can't really say too sure if it's primarily going to be used for the female or not. But uh, definitely can look on the side of the box. And here you have is a rubber stick full of all the hands on these like little branches. Uh, not really too keen on when they're connected right here on the side. I've just never really had great experiences um, cutting these out and painting them uh, with a couple of kits I did paint with these hands. Not really too fantastic. I would prefer them to be like a hard plastic, uh, but this kind of like more rubbery feel. Just I don't know. It doesn't 
it doesn't keep the paint on that well, especially when you're, you know, putting the accessories in and out of the hands. It's just gonna, you know, really rub uh, the paint off. So, kind of hate that. I'm gonna like learn maybe new tricks to get that, um, you know, get that paint a little bit more solidified on there. Because I'm already doing everything I can when it comes to priming and putting different layers on there and top coats, but it doesn't really seem to help all that much. But yeah, a lot of different hands, which is still a really great thing. And here you're gonna have two of these kind of like rubber hoses uh, with like a little wire in them. So this is going to be for the little accessories. It's gonna be, I think, plugged into the back of her body or her head, uh, but they're kind of just like little floating you know, wires. And here you have the three pre-painted faces. So obviously the surprise and the kind of like little sad as well as the determined. So it looks pretty good. Beautiful water slide sheet with lots of gold as well as silver right in there. And here we have the manual. So the cover art is looking really damn good. Uh, not really too much in terms of illustrations in there, but you are going to see some nice little poses. She is going to have the two knives, which like just really looks like cutlery. Um, kind of odd. And then you're going to have the shield combined with the launcher. Shield and launcher right there. Not going to be anything on the inside of the booklet. That's kind of like the only page that you get that's a... Uh, you know, really anything noteworthy. And then over here is gonna have more color, but this is all going to be the water slide placements. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, I should have this kit built by Wednesday morning. Um, you know, you'll, you'll definitely see a review for this uh, come this week and then come next weekend. Uh, that's when I'm gonna start doing the reviews for like the RG Crossbone and any other kit that I might have built in the past like month and I just haven't reviewed. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. And remember to go and check out NewTypeHQ.com. Uh, this kit is pretty much on par with how much it, it costs out here in Japan. Um, so if you can, snag it up. You know, Use that promo code, get that 10% off, and save yourself a little bit of money. But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And I'll see you in the review. Bye-bye.